Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. This is the day that the Lord has made. Amen. Today is Senior Day at Calvary Baptist Church. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Amen. So as we give honor and glory to our seniors this morning, we let us just be thankful for them. Amen. That they are a beacon, hallelujah, in our churches. They are a beacon in our communities and they are a beacon in our homes. Hallelujah. A psalm of thanksgiving in Psalm 100 says to make a joyful shout unto the Lord. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with thanksgiving and singing. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful to him, amen. Be thankful and bless his name. For the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting and his truth endures to all generations. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us humble our hearts. Father God, in the name of Jesus, once again, Lord, we come before you. We thank you for this day and time that you have ordained. We bless you today. We love on you today, Lord. We thank you for allowing us to congregate together, to fellowship together, Father. We bless you today. Right now, Father, we ask that you come into our hearts and our minds as we go forward with worshiping you today. Worshiping you in spirit and in truth, Father, we bless you today. And a special blessing to our seniors today, Father. The ones have, that have started before us and continue on. Let us continue to give them the praise that they deserve while they're here. We bless you today, Father. We thank you for all the things that are coming forth. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Can we give God a shout of praise this morning? Hallelujah. We come to bless the Lord today because he is worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
If you come to bless the Lord, hey, lift your voice, bless the Lord. Bless the Lord, oh my God. Come on and clap those hands one more time and give him praise. Oh, I need a church today. Come on, clap those hands and give him praise. Come on, bless him with your hands today. Come on, open your mouth and bless him with your hands today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. This is the day the Lord has made, and uh, we will rejoice and be glad in it. I will bless the Lord. He has done great things. So I will bless the Lord. I said, He has done great things. So I will bless the Lord. Has He done great things for anybody? Has he blessed anybody? Is anybody glad he woke you up this morning? Gave you life, health, and strength. Somebody ought to bless him this morning. Glory to Jesus. Hey, hallelujah. <laughs> hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory to Jesus. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praises shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make its boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. And let us exalt his name together. For the Lord is good. I wish I had a church in here today. Glory to Jesus.
more time, clap your hands and give him praise today. Hallelujah. You can be seated in the presence of the Lord. This is the day the Lord has made. And we will rejoice and be glad in it. I was having a conversation this morning with some of the preachers in the office today and I was saying to them, I'm, I'm learning the older I get how to praise God for progress. Yeah. Some people wait until it's done or until it's finished. But I'm learning how to praise him for progress. Because if I'm a little bit further today than I was yesterday, if I got a few more steps today than I had yesterday, if I'm feeling a little better today than I felt yesterday, that's reason enough to give him all of the glory and to give him all of the praise. Come on, look at somebody and tell them, praise him for progress. Glory to God. Glory to God. I wish I had a church in here today. Come on, tell somebody, I'm better today than I was yesterday. And that's reason enough There's a biblical story that comes to my mind and in that particular story, if you will remember, when the Ark of the Covenant had been captured and then uh, when David went back to get it, it was in the house of Obed-Edom. And uh, when they got it, they went down to get it to bring it back to its rightful place proper place the Bible says as they went every six steps they praised God somebody didn't catch that it's every six steps they praise God which means I'm not going to let too much go, too much time pass before I give him praise. I ain't going to let a day go by that I don't give him praise. I'm not going to let one thing happen that I'm not going to stop. Oh, I wish I had somebody ought to just stop every now and then and give God praise for what he's done. You ought to not let too many breaths come out of your body before you stop and tell him thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We thank God today for his goodness, for his mercy, for his loving kindness told you all some time ago uh, we gonna be known for praise I can't think of a reason why we shouldn't be cause he's been good to us like that have I got a witness I said I can't think of a reason Deacon Hatton I can't think of a reason why we ought not praise him why we ought not be known for praise I just can't think of a reason because he's been just that good. He's been good to us. When everybody else was going through stuff, God was still blessing us. He kept his hand on us. So I'm just so grateful to God today. Yeah, 
That's all right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's been good to us just like that. And so we're grateful. Thank God for those of you who joined us for in-person worship today. And we certainly praise God for our Calvary Everywhere congregation. Come on and thank God for our online congregation today. We certainly count it an honor and a privilege to be able to worship with you. Uh, I was uh, thinking the other day, I think language is powerful. It's powerful. And I've just kind of stopped saying thank you for watching us. And I'm saying thank you for worshiping with us. Amen. Because when you're watching us, it's like some kind of performance or something. But when we shout in here, I need you to be shouting in your living room. When we, when we praising God in here, you need to be running around the coffee table and running around the kitchen table. Just don't fall. Just run through the house. Run down. Make your neighbors think something going on over there. Yeah. I'm thanking God for his goodness. For his I'm just thanking him because he woke me up this morning. I might have to sit there for a minute, but he woke me up this morning. I may have to walk slow, but he woke me up this morning. Hallelujah. So we're grateful today to be in the house of, house of the Lord today. Any visitors wave at me? Anybody visiting? Anybody today? Amen. God bless you today. Thank you for coming. Thank you for worshiping with us today. We know you had other options, uh, but you thought it not robbery to spend your Sunday with us uh, today. And we're grateful. If you're watching us for the first time, please make sure that you put it in the chat that I'm watching for the first time so we can acknowledge even our online people who are watching us for the first time. So we want to make sure that we uh, let you know how grateful we are uh, that you worshiped with us today. Today we're celebrating our seniors. Amen. If, you, if you're not too embarrassed, and if you're grateful that God has allowed you to live, to see a wonderful, wonderful, beautiful age of of 65 and above. I thought about not doing it. I'm going to do it anyway. Everybody that's 65 and above, raise your hand. Everybody. Look at that. Look at that. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Anybody, anybody past the past the 80 mark? That, 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 that's okay. All right. All right. <laughs> amen, amen, amen. Amen. Those are the those are the grace people. Those are the grace people. He's promised us three score and ten, and if by reason of strength, Hallelujah, uh, that you've been able to exceed that, you are you better than blessed. You're better than blessed. And so we're grateful to celebrate our seniors today. Uh, it's a very Seniors have a very special place uh, uh, in my heart uh, because I understand that we didn't get here by ourselves. We stand on the shoulders of people who paved the way for us to be here, who made it possible that we might be here. And so we thought it not robbery to set this time aside to celebrate those who've prayed for us, who've encouraged us, who've shared their testimonies with us, who made us understand 
that you don't have to give up just because stuff happens to you. But if you hang on in there and trust in the Lord and lean not to your own understanding, but in all of your ways acknowledge him, he will direct your path. We didn't get here because we were smart. We didn't get here because we were such geniuses. But people paved the way for us to be here. And so we thought it not robbery today to spend, at least today, I think you ought to do it every day, but at least today to thank God for those who've made what comfort we're able to enjoy possible for us. So this morning, uh, the music ministry is going to come and prepare our hearts for the word of God today. And then the Reverend Patricia Earl will come this morning, uh, who is a lady of much wisdom. Um, she's not only prepared herself uh, academically, uh, but, she's, but life has prepared her uh, to be able to articulate to us the word of God uh, in a way that will bless us and encourage us and uh, cause us to know that we can make it uh, and we can keep going for a little while longer. And so immediately after the music ministry, our praise team, our amazing praise team, there's an amazing group of people. I appreciate them. I do uh, I appreciate our whole music ministry uh, and I appreciate what they do in order to set the atmosphere for worship for us. And so immediately after they shall have come this morning to bless us, uh, the next voice you will hear will be our preacher for the morning uh, in the person of the Reverend Patricia Earl. Pray for her uh, as she comes to share the word of God this morning. Amen. Amen. God bless y'all.
Keeps me in, and he hides me from my God. He heals me. Yes, he heals me. And he strength will Praise his holy name. Praise his holy name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. God, hallelujah, 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 he's awesome, hallelujah, he's awesome, hallelujah, thank you God, hallelujah. That's what I'm talking about. My strength may not be as full as it used to be, but God will give me a sufficient strength for this moment, for this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and let us be glad in it. Amen. Amen. We've come too far to turn back now. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I just want to make one comment before scripture. And that's to say to all of the seniors, when you're leaving, there is a souvenir gift in the main vestibule for you. So please get it. Amen. Amen. This morning, I'm going to read two short scriptures or verses of scripture and they will be taken from Isaiah 46 verses 3 and 4 from the NIV version of the Bible it reads listen to me O house of Jacob all you who remain in the house of Israel, you whom I have upheld since you were conceived and have carried you since your birth, even to your old age and gray hairs, I am he. I am he who will sustain you. I have made you and I will carry you. I will sustain you and I will rescue you. Amen. Amen. So this has been for many of us and when we stood up this morning, a lot of us 
We have been on a long journey, and we have been on a long journey towards home. Amen. Amen. You know, when I was growing up, my dad used to get on my nerves sometimes. But whenever something came up that was confusing to me as a child, he would say, keep living. That was his answer to almost everything. Just keep living. I always had questions and, and I didn't always get the answers. And the answers I got still remain to be keep living. And so that's my message. Just keep living. Don't give up now because God has kept us. The songwriter says, I have had some good days and I have had some hills to climb, but all of my good days outweigh my bad days. And guess what? I won't complain. It does not yet appear what I shall be. But guess what? I won't complain because when the journey ends, I will be who he said I would be. Completely in his likeness and image one more time because David declares I have been made how fearfully and wonderfully in his image and sometimes we forget that as we're growing older I did most of what was expected of me when I was a child. I excelled in school. I worked hard. I married. I raised my family. And guess what? I'm still standing. I'm still standing. I'm still standing to tell some of us, speaking to our seniors in particular, who grew up with parents who were chauffeurs and domestic workers, yeah. assembly sign workers, yeah. all other menial kinds of jobs. However, our parents were able to provide for us, yeah. encourage us, and made sure we got an education. How many times have we heard about the mama or the daddy who had a sixth grade education, but somehow or another, they had the mindset, they had the wherewithal to make sure that we, at the very least, graduated from high school. And when we graduated from high school, it was a time of joyful celebration because many of us, many of us, even in this assembly, were first time high school graduates. Many of us were first time college graduates. We have produced doctors and lawyers and financial uh, uh, advisors. We've uh, made fire chiefs and police chiefs and you name it because of our parents' sacrifice. They gave it all up for us. And we need to remember if it had not been for the parents of all of us, we would not be here to shout and to praise the God that we know and we love. Amen? Amen. So don't take for granted and don't be ashamed of where we come from. Sometimes we don't want to tell our true stories. 
And what we need to be is vulnerable, transparent, because we do have a story to tell. We can tell the story that nobody else can tell for us. We can tell the story about how we marched on Washington. We can tell the story about Jim Crow. We can tell if you grew up in the Deep South when we were still having Ku Klux Klan members. I don't want to get Bishop in trouble. But we were swinging from trees. I can remember there was, there was a store. Um, it was called W.T. Grant. And what it was was like, uh, I guess, a, a roses that was better. And they had a lunch counter. My mom was there making her purchases. And when she went to the cash register, she said to me and my sister, go over there, meaning to the lunch counter, and wait for me. I went there, and I sat down on a stool and started twirling around. And the woman behind the counter was just looking at me, but she didn't say anything. And another person came in and saw me and yelled, what are you doing sitting there? And grabbed me by my arm. And that was just at the time that Miss Ruby, y'all know Miss Ruby, or you knew Miss Ruby. Y'all thought that she was this little mild, meek person, right? When you met her, you thought she was just this quiet, timid woman. But let me tell you, she was a bear. And when that woman grabbed me by the arm, I thought my mama would lay her out on the floor because Ruby had the same stuff in her blood that some of them had in their blood towards us. That's all I got to say about it. We grew up and produced this wonderful generation of young people who are here with us this morning. Some of you may have heard parts of my story, but many of you have not. So my comment to the rest of us is that we've come too far. We've come too far and we've experienced too much to sit at home and say, I'm tired. I've been there. I've done that. Our job is not yet complete. And it will not be complete until, in Isaac it says, until God comes to rescue us. And he will rescue us. It doesn't matter what we've experienced. It doesn't matter what we've been through. But all of us, every one of us, have our own unique stories to tell. And when our young people say they don't understand us, they don't understand us because we haven't allowed them to know us. They haven't seen us exercise our talents and our gifts because we've become satisfied now. There is much work to be done. And if we are not careful, there is nothing, young people, new, under, the sun. What has been is right now in front of us, but we don't know how to deal with it because we have been negligent in telling the story. And we need to stand up and we all need to find at least one that we can tell our story to. 
because we are not too tired for that. We are not too sick for that. And we should not let arthritis, heartaches, high blood pressure, diabetes, I got all of that. Migraine headaches, back aches, shoulder aches, fingernails that are broken. We've got all of that. But all of that has made us what we are. And every experience that we've gone through, whether it's good or bad, no matter what it's been, it has given us the strength to be a part of the survivors. We've endured and we've survived. We've come too far to turn back now. Too far. There is much work left for us to do. When we look at a snake. Yeah, right. Oh, ugly snake. I'm scared of them. But when I think about them, that long snake, at some point he rubs against the stones and the rocks, and he sheds his skin. And he grows a new skin. And when he grows that new skin, he leaves that old skin behind and he moves on to another place to do a new thing because he's been given a special anointing. He knows what his place is and he still curls around being a snake. He's still a snake, but he's wearing a new skin. And that's what we have to learn to do. Shake off the old skin, all of us, and be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. For this is the acceptable thing. Don't sit there complacent, but it's all about our minds and how we perceive ourselves and what we think about ourselves. I'm tired, I'm weak, I'm worn, but I've got on some new skin. Every morning when we wake up and we're aware that we took that breath because God gave it to us and that's the new skin that's already starting to develop in us from the tail right on up to the head. So we know. And when we grow older and sometimes we become more confused. What's your responsibility? When I'm at home alone, what's your responsibility? When my lights are off for two months, what's your responsibility? Because some of us, like my household, what goes on here stays here. So many of our elders don't share their needs with us. But we as a community, as the body of Christ, as those who are loving and caring about one another, we pray for the gifting of discernment so that I don't have to come to you begging because that's out of character for most of our seniors. So if we are loving the way we ought to be loving, We do what the scripture says Jesus did. He didn't come for those who were healthy and well. He came for those who were sick, those who were oppressed, those who were fatherless, those who didn't know where the next meal was going to come from. That widow, that older person who, yes, has become 
feeble in thought, but I learned in my occupation of over 35 years, sometimes when we think they don't understand, if we, st I'm passionate about what I'm passionate about, we stop and we look at them and we touch them because they suffer from skin hunger. And so all they need is a touch. And that touch will put a spark of life in their eyes, even if it's only for a fleeting moment. And we know and they know that they're still here among us. Don't overlook those older members who are among us and may not be speaking up for what they need. We need stuff, but you'll never know it if you don't pick up the phone and just say, not do you have bread, but how are you, Miss Jones? How are you today? Can I do anything for you? Have you been able to get out to the store for a few minutes? Do you need to go get your hair done? We're not going to tell you that. Because that's out of character for us, for most of us. But I've got a lot to tell you about my life. I've been here for 78 years. If I don't have a lot to tell you, then shame on me. I've experienced a lot. You've experienced a lot. Miss Bellamy has experienced a lot. Nellie Foster has experienced a lot. Reverend Whitney has experienced a lot. Who else can I pick on that's not going to be mad with me? I mean, sometimes you still got to be careful because old folk don't want to tell you that they're 65. Want to know how I know that? Because I, I keep record of our elderly in this congregation, and some of y'all ain't stepped up yet. <laughs> Bishop keeps telling me, well, I've got a long way to go. Yeah. Not as long a way as you think. <laughs> Time has a way of sneaking up on us, and it catches us unawares. But I want to just share with you, we, all of us, we're overcomers. We are the light of the world. We are the sons and the daughters of the Most High God who knows our name and numbers the hairs on our head. We were hard pressed on every side, but we weren't crushed. We were perplexed, confused, but, 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 but not in despair. We were persecuted, but I am did not abandon us. We were struck down, God have mercy, but we were not destroyed. So keep on keeping on and know that the journey is still yet to come. We have not finished this race. God bless you. God keep you ever in his grace. Amen. Amen.
come on and thank God for Reverend Earl this morning. Come on, give God praise for not just her, but what she embodies. Come on, thank God for that. Hallelujah. We want today to celebrate that embodiment. Uh, sometimes it's not always the person themselves. Sometimes it's what they embody. And sometimes when I, I thank God, y'all always hear me uh, talk about my grandmother a whole lot. She makes it into every sermon just about but it's not just who she is, but it's what she embodies. That strength, that wisdom, uh, that experience that helps us to know that as long as there's breath in our body, God is not through with us yet. And I just want you to, to help me to tell somebody today, come on, tell somebody, God ain't through with you yet. He ain't through with you yet. If he was done with you, you wouldn't have woke up this morning. But the fact that you got up this morning is evidence and proof enough that he's not done with you yet. Don't let the devil deceive you into believing that he's done with you. I remember when I was pledging um, uh, my fraternity, there was a man online with me who was 70 years old. And what you have to understand is sometimes it may take you a little while to get there, but get there. Whatever you do, don't give up until your time is up because God is not done with you yet. There's still plenty for you to do and there's still plenty of life left in you. And if you believe that, y'all touch yourself. Say, I ain't done yet. I don't care what you say, the devil say, and four other people say. I ain't done yet. Somebody today needs to understand that we've come this far by faith. Leaning on the Lord, trusting in his holy word, because you know what? Because he's never, have I got a witness, failed us yet. So I can't turn around because I've come this far by faith. God brought us, God kept us, God is with us. And I want you to know today that the only way that you can become whoever it is that you need to become, it's because God can do it in you and through you and for you. And so if you're here this morning and you don't know Jesus in the pardon of your sin, I want to extend an invitation to somebody today for you to come on and say yes to him today. You may be in this building right now, but if you're here, will you come right now? Will you say yes to the Lord Jesus Christ today? Maybe you're already saved, but maybe you're looking for a church home. 
I want to extend an invitation to you today to make Calvary Baptist Church your church home. We'd love to be your church family. I'd love to be your pastor. If you're here this morning, will you come on and step out of that seat and meet me here at the altar today? Come on, do it right now. The day you hear his voice, harden not your heart. Come on right now, wherever you are. Come on right now. Will somebody say yes to him today? Come on, somebody. Maybe you need to come back to God today. You can do that right now as well. All you have to do, step out of that seat. Come and meet me here at the altar right now. Will you come right now, wherever you are? Come on, do it today. Hallelujah. We've come this far. I faith. Come on, somebody. Oh, I'm leaning. Every day I'm trusting. Will you come today? Oh, he's never. I'm crying, oh. Somebody ought to come today. Oh, we've come, we've come this far. Amen. Come on, clap your hands. Every day I'm trusting Cause he's never Every day Oh, 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 oh. Can't turn We've come, we've come this Clap your hands and thank God today. You may be seated. Praise the Lord that the Lord is still with us and He's still blessing us. Yeah, Reverend Earl, I don't have a long way to go, but I got long enough. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise God for her today. I love her so much. And I thank God for her. I appreciate the fact that uh, God has, many of you know, um, and I'm, I'm going to say this, hopefully I'll say it and be okay when I say it. Um, 
uh, but a little bit ago when my mother passed um, and y'all came and just, uh, oh Lord Jesus, just bless my life. But he did not leave me motherless. Because so many of you have filled that void. Uh, if, if nothing else, you know, she was just talking about that, that touch, that concern, that compassion. And that's why I appreciate uh, our seniors so much because they've not lost that touch. They've not lost that compassion. And so uh, that's why I'm excited to celebrate uh, our seniors today uh, because they help rub our wounds when we get hurt. If you remember when you were a child and you were riding the bike or fell down and scrub your knees, scrub your elbows. They might have gotten some other stuff to put on there. But the one thing that just made it all right, when they kissed it and said it's cool. Y'all don't know nothing about that, y'all. That, that, that made it all right. That's what made it all right. And so we, we celebrate uh, our seniors on today. I want to, um, our officers are going to come and they're going to uh, receive our gifts this morning. But right before they come, let me, let me do this presentation before they come and then we all receive um, our gifts today. Today we want to um, honor what we call here at CBC are hidden gems. Uh, people that are not necessarily out in front, uh, not in the way that um, maybe some other people are, but their presence do so much. Um, they don't have to say a whole lot but their presence uh, emanates strength, uh, wisdom, encouragement uh, for us. And so today we're going to honor uh, two of our hidden gems uh, today. And uh, when I call their name, if, if you're able to come this way, you can do that. If not, uh, I can come where you are. But either, either way. All righty. Our first uh, hidden gem today that we want to that we want to celebrate. And remember, Earl, you got this stuff all wrapped up. I can't even get to the. the Jesus, have mercy today. Our uh, first hidden gem that we want to honor today is the Reverend Dr. Nellie Foster. <laughs> Can you come this way? If you can't come to me, I'll come to you. Presented to the Reverend Dr. Nellie Foster as a hidden gem and appreciation for outstanding contributions to committed ministry for more than 20 years. Amen. Amen.
Man. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. Amen. They were saying everybody trying to tell you to take a mask off. She said, it's all you get me. This is... <laughs> Hallelujah. Our uh, second uh, hidden gem that we want to honor today is Sister Betty Bellamy. says presented to Betty Bellamy as our hidden gem in recognition and gratitude for the years of celebrating our birthdays and our anniversaries which God gave so much joy to us come on let's celebrate it today Amen. God bless you today. <laughs> Hallelujah. I um, called um, Sister Bellamy and uh, she said, I ain't coming to church unless you tell me to. <laughs> well, I said, I need you to come <laughs> to church. <laughs> Amen. Come on, thank God for the two of them one more time. Hallelujah. And as we often say, when we honor people, uh, we honor them un fully understanding that there's so many other people that come with that honor. And so we want you to know that we honor all of you uh, for all that you do. Because please know that this church is what it is because of you all. Amen. It is what it is because of your service and your sacrifice and all that you've done to help make this church what it is. And so we certainly appreciate every one of you for all that you do. Uh, our officers are preparing to come to receive our tithes and offerings this morning. We certainly are grateful uh, for your kindness, for your generosity, and for all that you do to make our church what it is. And so we're grateful for your, for your giving and for your contributions. There are many ways that you can give that are available on your screen. For those of you who are watching online and you wanna just sow a seed into this ministry uh, because it's such a blessing to you. You may not even be a member here, uh, but you want to give a tangible expression of what this ministry means to you. You're able to do so. All you have to do uh, is follow several of those examples uh, online, and you can do that through your computer, through your cell phone, by mail. Our trustees are here on the Saturdays before the first Sunday uh, to receive them. However you choose to give, uh, we're grateful for that. As you give today, please don't forget 2285 in your giving. Continue to pray for us. Uh, continue to ask God to continue to order our steps and direct us in the way he would have us to go so that we can see the manifestation uh, of that vision come to pass. Amen. So we ask that you do that. If we will all stand on our feet for our offering declaration and then remain standing, if you will, for prayer. Come on, let's share together. Because I am a tither and a giver, the windows of heaven are open to me, and God rebukes the devourer for my sake. Because I am a tither and a giver, I am positioned to be blessed financially, 
and receive a blessing that I cannot contain. Remain standing. Let us pray. Father God, once again, Lord, we bless you today. We love you. But right now, Lord, we ask that you bless this offering. Continue to give us the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding to be stewards, good stewards for the kingdom. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You're in the hands of our ushers. If you will turn your attention to the screens, if you will, for our announcements. Good morning, church family. I'm Candace Green. Stay tuned for your weekly announcements. Sunday worship service will continue to be available online, via YouTube, and in person at 9.30 a.m. As a reminder, during our worship service, masks are required and must cover the nose and mouth during the service. Wednesday, Noonday Bible Study continues to meet weekly via Zoom. Sunday School continues to be held on each Saturday at 11 a.m. via Zoom. Attention all women, you are invited to join the women's ministry for their first Women's Community Day, Saturday, May 21st at 10 a.m. Bring your sisters, bring your friends. Enjoy music, free food, vendors, and much, much more. Grief Share is currently on hiatus and will return on August 1st. Facilitators are needed for the upcoming sessions. If you are interested in volunteering to become a facilitator and assist with this ministry, please send an email to griefshare at calvaryforward.org. Calvary members who are graduating from high school in the class of 2022 are invited and encouraged to apply for our available scholarships. Please help us share this opportunity with members who have a son or daughter who are graduating. Completed applications must be postmarked no later than May 20th, 2022. Please email scholarships at calvaryforward.org to request the application packet. It's that time of year again, where we want to recognize our students for their amazing accomplishments during this school year, including our 2022 graduates. On Sunday, June 19th, we will recognize students in areas such as honor roll, perfect attendance, community service, and any other great accomplishments they achieved during the 2021-2022 school year. We will also take the time to recognize our 2022 graduates. To be a part of this special moment, please send an email to Elder William Guy at cym at calvaryforward.org to receive a link so we can capture your information. We are excited to announce that Calvary has partnered with Mount Zion AME Church to establish a community garden. Community gardens benefit the community by promoting healthier lifestyles, cleaning the environment, building stronger communities, providing opportunities for learning and fellowship, relieving stress, and increasing wellness. Calvary will utilize one of four raised garden beds located at Mount Zion across the street from Calvary. A variety of vegetables were planted on Saturday, May 14th. We are seeking volunteers to assist with ongoing maintenance and harvesting of the garden. If interested, please contact the church office during regular office hours. Pastor's Aid is now accepting ads and patrons for Bishop's fifth anniversary souvenir booklet. All auxiliaries and ministries are encouraged to place an ad. Please see Minister of Music Henry Green for more information. Tickets for the anniversary banquet are also still on sale. 
Tickets are $40 per person and can be purchased from Carmen Kelly, Erlinda Colon, and Henry Green. <coughs> Calvary Bible College and Seminary is now accepting ads and patrons for the 2022 Virtual Commencement Ceremony Booklet. Ads are $25 and patrons are $3 per name. Please send an email to cbcs at calvaryforward.org with your completed full page ad or patron's names. Thank you for supporting CBCS. Those are all of your announcements for the week. Make sure to follow us on all of our social media sites. Thank you for joining us here at Calvary Baptist Church, the place where life begins. Amen. Thank you for your giving this morning. Uh, just a couple of things, and then we're ready to go. Uh, don't please don't forget the uh, women's ministries outing on the twenty first, from the twenty first of May. Uh, we're doing several things in that particular setting. Uh, there will be breast cancer checks happening there. There will also be COVID vaccines and testing that will take place as well. So please make sure that you uh, encourage uh, those in your sphere of influence that you know may need those services, uh, that you can get those services at that time. So if you know somebody, encourage them to be here. Amen? Amen. Please do so for us. We also have COVID home test kits available uh, in the foyer for those of you who may need them. Uh, please make sure that you pick them up uh, on your way out. They're, of course, free of charge to you, and so we ask you to do that. Let's remember all of our sick and shut in in our prayers. Uh, we certainly want to uh, add Brother Steve Walls to our prayer request list. Uh, he'll be taken to the hospital this morning, so let's please uh, keep him in prayer, as well as all of, our, all of those persons who are on the list. I want to be in prayer for Brother Frank and Sister Bernadette Blythe, who lost his son-in-law. Let's keep them in prayer as well. Uh, we have a thank you card from Sister Charmaine White, who lost her mother. Uh, and so uh, continue to lift her up uh, in your prayers. Amen. If you do that, we'll certainly be grateful. I want to say again, congratulations to the class of 2020. Amen. We had several people uh, to graduate uh, on yesterday. Some have graduated last week. All of our graduates who are here this morning, stand up real quick. All of the graduates, wherever you graduated from. Amen. Amen. Sister Reverend Shockley, doctor. <laughs> God bless you. This young lady here, God bless you your graduation anybody yeah and masters masters amen amen got a master's degree amen so all of our graduates please know that we're so proud of you and we pray for your continued success uh, as you move forward in your life amen well god bless you today god keep you 
thank God again for all of you, our visitors who are sharing with us, our persons who are worshiping in person, and of course our Calvary Everywhere family. Uh, thank you for joining us online. If our hearts and minds are clear, let's stand on our feet. And Father, we thank you today for what you've allowed us to experience in this worship. We're grateful for the reminder that you're not done with us yet. But there's plenty more that you have for us to do. Thank you for our church. Thank you for every member of our church. Thank you for those who support our church. God, you've put us here for a reason. And we ask that that reason, God, will always be the center of everything that we do. And now as we prepare to leave here today, we certainly do not leave your presence unto you, O oh God, who is able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all that we could ever ask or think. To you be glory, majesty, dominion, and power, henceforth, now, and forevermore. And the people of God said, Amen. God bless you. Have a safe week. And we'll see you online or in person this Wednesday for Bible study. God bless you.